Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? It's me, Vivs from Slidenet here. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to take a picture using Intense in Android. So first, what we have is our layout file, which looks something like this, the graphical layout. There's just one button which says take a picture. And then if you go here to the main, there's your relative layout. Inside that, there's a scroll view, there's a linear layout, which is vertical. And then there's the main button that we have here. You see it's ID, which is take picture over here. And then there's the on click attribute, which calls the process method. And of course, you go, go back here, there's a process method here. So inside this, we're gonna write code to take a picture. So what we're gonna do is create an intent by saying intent, intent equals new intent. Now, as you know, each intent needs an action. In our case, the action is gonna be media store dot action image capture. Now in Android, media store represents a type of database where images and videos are stored and linked. Now we will be talking about this more when we talk about content providers. But for now, bear with me. All you gotta do is use this intent over here, then put some extras by saying intent dot put extra. So the first thing is gonna be media store dot extra output now where do you want this image file to be saved once the image has been captured now for this we need to give a value over here the next thing that we want to put is intent dot put extra what would be the quality of our image so again in here it's gonna be media store dot extra video quality now even though we are capturing an image we control the video quality of the camera when we are taking that image now when you say zero over here it means low and when you say one over here it means high quality since we want a high quality image we're gonna put one over here and that takes care of that now what we need is a file object that stores our image so here I'm gonna go up see private file image file <clears throat> now this image file needs to be present or it should link to a directory on our external storage SD card so I'm gonna say new file over here now this is gonna take two arguments the first is gonna be uh, the directory that we want to save the file in now where is that directory that is an environment dot get external storage public directory where it is environment dot directory pictures the next argument that's gonna be supplied is the name of the file that's gonna be test dot jpg in our case this is these are the two arguments the first argument is the directory where you want to save the pictures the second argument is the name of the file itself and once you do that all you gotta do is take this complete file that we have and convert this into a URI so you can say URI dot from file and as you guys notice in this method it takes a file object as input and gives you back a URL which is gonna look something like this file colon slash 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 the android.txt that you have here the same way you want to generate a URI for our image file We're gonna store that inside URI temp URI something like that and put the value over here as temp URI in other words specify the directory where you want to store the file specify the file name get the URI and tell the intent that save the image with this output parameter over here at this particular URI so at this point we are good to go all you gotta go start activity for result I mean our intent over here that we created and send a request code of zero now the request code is used to identify exactly which person sent a request and all you gotta do now is override the on activity result because the image will be captured in your camera app and it will be given back to you inside your own activity so this method on activity result will let you decide what to do once the image has been captured back inside your own activity so here you remove this statement you say if request code is zero now notice very carefully at the top over here I have said the request code is zero at the time of starting the activity. So here when I get the result I check if the request code is zero so make sure that it was the same activity that is our activity which sent a request for capturing the image once this is done all I gotta do is switch the result code I'm gonna say switch result code over here now what happens with the result code is the result okay did the user cancel the process of taking an image that can be handled with this switch case that you see over here so here it's gonna be activity dot result okay if the result was perfectly if the image was captured by the user otherwise it's gonna be activity dot result cancelled if the user 
say decides to back off at the last moment from taking an image now here in the first case what you want to do is you want to check if the image file exists or not that's very simple if you notice the image file is actually a file object in Java so here you can go inside this case and you can say if image file dot exists this is gonna give a boolean over here then we can print a simple message indicating where that image file is stored otherwise we simply tell that the image file was not saved so we can say toast dot make text over here so at the top here when the image file exists what we want to do is the file was saved at and you want to put the entire directory where the file is present so I'm gonna say image file dot get absolute path now if you return if you see absolute path of this file is a path that starts at the root of the file system there is only one root so this will give you the total path or the directory where it's SD card slash slash whatever it is so that is gonna be the absolute path over here otherwise else what we wanna say is the file was not saved or there was an error saving the file so at this point we're good to go let's just take a look at the manifest and see if we have missed something so if you take a look at the manifest here there are, there are no special permissions that you require because the camera app is gonna do all the work of saving the file to the SD card which means you're not the one who requires the permission to write file to the SD card so at this point things look pretty good let's just run this so at this point my activity is up and running it says take a picture let me just click this button over here and as you guys notice the camera gets launched over here and there's my other phone on my table right now I'm just gonna click this image over here and the image has been captured there's an option to save it so I'm gonna click save here and it goes back and it says file was saved at storage SD card 0 picture slash test dot jpg so now let's go to that file and check it out so there you go back up so there's our test dot jpg file over here just click that and there you go that's our image which we just took which means this is working perfectly so this is how you can use intents to capture images in your applications which is a simple way of doing stuff there's the uh, hard way using the surface view and camera which we'll be taking a look at in the upcoming videos in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day